So, does anyone remember when Second Life was a thing? Uh, buying digital real estate with real US dollars? Uh, even so, the idea of walking through virtual worlds is fascinating to me. It has been for, for decades. And uh, was much you can do on your own. More recently, though, you can get programs even on your your smartphones now, that you can stitch photos together into a virtual environment. So something like uh, this little cockpit scene. Let's see. So, oh, very nice. Look at those reflections, right? We can move around. Look at the guy in front, maybe. What if I want to get out of the plane? <laughs> Can't just photos and if it's only photos how does that help Ikea in case you didn't know most of the photos in Ikea are CGI so this is a set probably reuse all these elements you know the cabinets change the color change the fruit for the season you know new line of lights or stools they throw them right in in their catalog. So how do you make that into a virtual world, right? Well, you can use Maya or 3ds Max to make these things. Spend thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, or just use Blender. Just powerful, and more importantly, it provides access to Blend for Web. Right? If you use Maya, you can still use Blend for Web, but you actually have to export it and then import it in the Blender and then use the Blend for Web toolkit. But hey, you know, once you learn Blender, maybe you won't go back. You just stay there where you should be. So, this is Blend for Web. Internet marketing online games. Here's the thing that I like uh, WebGL. So your audience can easily view 3D content through a preferred browser. No more plugins, right? From a, sta a developer standpoint, Blend for, Blend for Web eliminates barriers to the complex, low-level technology of WebGL, making it accessible even to non-coders. Which I guess is me, because I don't know what that meant. But here's another nice thing: write once, run anywhere. It's It'll work on multiple platforms, right? From PCs to cell phones. So, what can we do with this? So here's Blender. And I made up this little scene. And here's some, some walls and ground. And little doorways. It's kind of a third person perspective. Here's my character. Right, not much. Actually, here's another one. This is a guard. I wanted to have these little these are controls here on the bottom, but if you run into a wall, you get a little, well anyway. That's another story. But with the click of the button, it'll be on the internet. So this is the uh, local client. So. Ignore everything here on the right. I do. I don't know what any of that does. But uh, I did figure out some things. You know, obviously, you've seen if you click on something, it lights it up for a bit. Which is a bad thing, because now you can see the entire map back there. Ah. Right. So anyway, so here's my little character. Let's try to get a more top-down view. Okay, so... Want them to go that way? You click that way. Want them to go this way? Sneak up on the door. Okay, he rolls his dice. Sorry, I keep uh, using Blender mouse controls and it's throwing me off. Anyway, so sneaks up to the door, rolls the dice. He's able to quietly open it, so the game master presses this button, opens the door. And this is my cheesy way of, you know, revealing the map one step at a time, right? And 
I gotta get rid, rid of that blow. Right? So now you can see, oh, there's a hallway, there's a couple doorways. Here's a door. So, yeah, you yeah. walk down, oops. Walk down the hall. We gotta work on that. Roll the dice again. Maybe not. And you can see in this part of it. Right. Open that door. And you can see what's going on there. Right? You can see that. And this door. This isn't the best solution, but it's what it came up with on the fly in a couple days. Um, yeah, it works. Alright. Ignore the textures. Right, just threw this together. Proof of concept, but really liking that I figured this out. Right. Gotta have ways, you know, maybe click on these guys, they get smaller and smaller. Show them taking damage until they finally disappear but that's my my first little virtual world for the internet age hope you enjoyed it